This is Drag You Cram Session. I'm your private tutor, Damiana Garcia. Feel free to crib my notes this semester on all the current events at Drag You. Make your heels clap. Yes, Juju B. Keep blowing kisses at me like that. I'll give you more than a cheer. Sorry. The theme of this week's episode was Naughty Nurses, an appropriate title, as student Linnell explained. I did a photo shoot for Hustler. <laughs> Ooh, you go, Linnell, with your sexy pose and bad self. I actually volunteered to pose for Hustler. My call wasn't returned. Rue chose professors Jujubee, Mariah, and Chanel to give these nurses a dose of that drag you strong medicine. Now students, your course materials today are gonna include a box of tissues. This one's a tearjerker. Rue wasn't kidding when he briefed the faculty by saying, This week we've got a 911 drag emergency. Three nurses who need our help stat. Kim is still recovering from the death of her best friend, who is basically her other half. Hope is learning to stand on her own after an oppressive childhood and stifling former marriage. And Linnell is a 10-year cancer survivor who has yet to tell her children she's fighting the disease because she wants to be strong for her kids. I mean, if you have a heart beating inside of your chest, you will be using those tissues by the end of this episode. Oh, thank God I wore waterproof <laughs> oh, no, eyeliner today. No, no. After consulting with the Dragulator and receiving the class's diva identities, the professors began their open heart surgery on their students. Because in the episode, the professors were opening these women's hearts to feeling more empowered. See what I did there? Metaphors. Okay, students, the drag doctors will see you now. It's time for your appointment with today's cram session. Let's start the countdown. For their lady lesson, Dean of Drag Lady Bunny taught these women the first step in changing from the inside out. I don't mean changing their spirit. We're talking panties and lingerie. After decking out the students with some sexy new support, it was time for the unveiling, and the faculty was impressed. Linnell and that tearaway work. Nothing says sexy like a sensible shoe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's true. I've got a see-through teddy and crotchless panties at home that would go great with those sneakers. I'll let your imagination conjure the image. In dance class, Dean of Dance Candace Kane encouraged the ladies to really let loose and free themselves of their inhibitions, and Kim had quite a breakthrough. You can get louder than that, come on. Ah! There you go. <laughs> wow, this is inspiring me to break down my inhibitions as well. Let me try. Ah! Candace, what do you think? Let loose, yell. Okay, sure, I could do better. When the students had their one-on-one -on -one chats with the school president, Rue gave them words of advice to live by. The gift you can actually give to other people is to allow them to give to you. Okay. I want you to focus on celebrating life. You don't need other people to define who you are. That's right. Rue delivered revelatory words of wisdom that really connected with these women. Rue, any words you can share with me? Armpit. Huh, that speaks to me somehow. I'm gonna work that into my daily affirmations. At final drag examination, the ladies really let them have it. And as visiting Professor Charo said of Kim, AKA Nikki Vixen. I think that she should be in show business. Charo, you think everybody should be in show business? Not everybody, please don't misconstrue me, okay? <laughs> in the end, Linnell, AKA Angel Esprit, graduated with top honors. But all three naughty nurses were truly feeling nice and emerged as bold, empowered women ready to take on the world. Okay, tissue. Thanks. What did I tell you? All right, students, study chapter five in your drag you handbooks. I've got to go take my prescription. 50 cc's of sachet chante. This is Damiana Garcia, class dismissed. Drag you, it's amazing.